the key. I was from a real small town where we didn't have a lot of outside influence from the rest of the world, you know. My outlet to all of that were people like Bob Dylan, you know, and some of those songs where they were singing about things that other people weren't singing about on pop radio. You know, and that's the reason why I write the kind of songs that I write. So I'm always interested in if that was the same for, for other people, especially to meet other songwriters that I'm inspired by. Being kind of a self-taught musician, you know, of just kind of picking up a book of guitar chords and trying to learn them on my own, the only real teachers that I've had in this thing are other musicians and other songwriters. The songs, I was always writing them to share. Yeah. So then it's just about, like, are you writing them to share with your family or your group of friends or a small mm -hmm. crowd? Do you want to share them with as many people who will come? It's like writing a, a letter to someone, whether you give it to them or not, it's like you get it off your chest and so you yeah. just feel better. And when you listen to it, it becomes the bone of your own life, you know, which is, that's what's great about a song. It tells your own truth. It's been pretty cool when you can have somebody that kind of puts down their guard and leaves their ego at the door and will walk in the room and sit down with you. So I've been pretty fortunate to get to, to play with musicians from all over the world and it reminds you of what a universal language that music is.